What's up Multiverse, Dr. Dave here. Welcome to the Geek Lounge. So next weekend and the weekend after, I will be attending Comic-Con Liverpool and MCM Comic-Con London respectively, where I intend to get a whole bunch more Funko Pop signed. And so I figured for today's video, we'll check out my full signed Funko Pop collection because you guys can only see a fraction behind me. Kicking things off then guys, and I know these aren't Funko Pops, they are of course U2s, but I figured I'd share them nonetheless. They're the only two signed U2s I do have in my collection. Currently on the right, we have Naruto, signed by the English VA Miley Flanagan with the quote, believe it. And on the left, we have Chainsaw Man, signed by the English VA Ryan Colt Levy, with the quote, love me some baddies, can't get enough. You know why that is? Because nobody gives a... You guys can surely read that word. Uh, I always try and be a bit careful with swear words on uh, YouTube, even though I do have a pretty big potty mouth, when I carve them up. And as you guys can see, his signature is also really cool when he does sign things for Denji for Chainsaw Man. On to the signed Funko Pop collection then, guys. And I'm going to start with the very first Funko Pop I ever got signed. I'm not going to be going in that order. I'm going to stick to like franchise order. And I figured it as the two U2s I just showed off were anime. We'll stick with anime. But yeah, this was the very first one I ever got signed. Katsuki back ago from My Hero Academia signed by the English VA Clifford Chapin. He wrote the word die on there. I think he does that when you don't have a quote prepared and as this was the first ever one I got signed I definitely didn't have a quote prepared for it. Next My Hero Academia pop guys is the Funimation 2020 exclusive Ochako Uraraka signed by the English VA Lucy Christian. She put the quote I'll see you in the finals. Again this was around the time when I wasn't really prepared like I didn't bring any quotes so she actually picked this one. I'm very much prepared now uh, especially for VAs when I go and get my Fungabop signed. Then we have Suyu signed by the English VA Monica Riau. I actually got this signed at the same event as the Ochako Pop. You guys just saw it was Comic Con Northern Ireland last year. And again, as I said, I didn't have any quotes prepared, so she added this one. Just call me Sue. Ribbit. We've also got an Eri signed by the English VA, Emily Never. She added, quote, these people aren't going to give up, not until I'm safe. I got this at Comic-Con Liverpool last year. Again, yeah, I wasn't really prepared for quotes, so I'm happy she added this one for me. I do also have the Chalice Collectibles exclusive overhaul signed by the English VA, Kellen Goff. As you guys can see, I don't have a quote on this one, though. And that's because I decided to get a quote added to the Funimation 2021 exclusive Tomura Shigaraki and Overhaul 2-pack. Now, sometimes, I think it's dependent on the con and maybe even the guest, but sometimes they do charge a fee for adding a small quote and Kellen Goff at MCM Comic Con earlier this year in May was charging fees uh, for quotes so I decided not to get the uh, singular overhaul one signed with a quote but I did get this one signed with a goal with no plan is called a delusion which he actually realized was the Japanese version the English version was a little bit different I had to like look it up on the internet and I actually found this one I didn't find the English dub version but it was really cool that he knew that just need Eric Vale now to come over. He's one of my favorite voice actors. I would love him to come over. Sanji from One Piece, one of my favorite characters. Well, probably actually my favorite character from One Piece. Um, and he's played so many characters, including Tomura Shigaraki. And that's not the only My Hero Academia 2-pack I have signed, guys. I also have the Anime Expo 2022 exclusive Gentle Criminal and La Brava 2-pack signed by the English VA of La Brava, Megan Shipman. She's got the quote, I'll die before I'm going to be separated from you, Gentle. Well, I said she's put the quote. I did actually pick that one. I was actually actually a bit more repaired. Would love for the VA for Gentle Criminal to come over. His name does escape me though, at least so I complete, can, pardon me, complete this two pack. We'll go with some fairy tale next. First up, we have Mirror Jane Strauss signed by Monica Real, the second of two Monica Real pops I saw. You guys saw the one just a few minutes ago. Sue you from My Hero Academia. She added the quote for me. Welcome to the fairy tale guild. And attending that same event, which was Comic Con Northern Ireland last year, was Tia Ballard, the longtime voice of Happy, and I got her to sign my Happy Funger Pop with the I Sir quote. And as you guys can see on the side, she did actually draw a little sketch, a little doodle of Happy enjoying a fish. I think it's really cool. I do personally love it when voice actors, actors in general, actually add these little doodles and sketches to Funga Pops. Let me know if you guys enjoy that too. And the third and final fairy tale Funga Pop I have signed, guys, I would love to get more because I really do enjoy the show, is of Frosh, signed by the English VA Dawn M. Bennett. She actually had to add the quote for me, Frosh thinks so too, because I still haven't met Frosh. I've actually neglected fairy tale. I, you know, I say I'm a big fan of the show. I have actually neglected it for a while. I really need to go back and watch it, but I haven't actually met Frosh yet. And speaking of an anime, I absolutely love, guys. Next up, we have Killua Zoldic from Hunter Hunter, signed 
by the English VA, Christina V. Call me a simp, but she is absolutely beautiful. A stunning, beautiful woman. But she's so down to earth. Very, very cool. Very, very talented. When I actually first met her and got this sign, I'd literally watched maybe four or five episodes of Hunter x Hunter and then binge watched it. Like, I maybe finished the show, like, three weeks after getting this sign. That's how much I loved it. Miss it deeply. Really hope that it does come back at some point. Even though Kilua, who did become my favorite character, probably won't be in it because I know the next story arc is more for like Kuropika and Leorio. Speaking of which, Kuropika's voice actor uh, Erica Harlatcher Stone is attending MCM Comic Con Birmingham and I will try and get that Fungo Pop sign or one of the Kuropika Fungo Pop signed so I can add uh, another character to my collection. This is the only Hunter Hunter Fungo Pop I do have signed. As you can see, it says, I'm not an assassin anymore. I'm a hunter. One of my favorite Kilua uh, uh, quotes, but say Fungo Pops. This actually isn't one of my favorite Kilua Fungo Pops, but I think it's the only one I had at that time. Uh, another really cool addition though, she actually ha added, pardon me, the Hunter Hunter Association logo on the side. Again, I love it when actors and voice actors do this. Another anime I love and that absolutely cracks me up, I think it may just be the funniest anime out there, is One Punch Man. I did get my Saitama Funko Pop signed by the English VA, Max Miltelman. Again, another really, really cool dude. I went with the quote, crap, I forgot to buy combo soup stock. That just made me laugh so much uh, when it happened in the show. It's not quite accurate, I guess, with the Funko Pop. He is holding groceries, but he is in his like uh, kind of casual civilian wear when that actually happens. But I love the quote so much, that's what I decided to get put on there. And at the inaugural Anime Con UK earlier this year in Birmingham, I did add my second signed One Punch Man Funko Pop to the collection. I got Geno signed by the English VA Zach Aguila. This one's really, really cool. I will eliminate you and then incinerate in red. I'd seen someone put it on Twitter. I, actually, I think it was him who posted it on Twitter saying he's starting to see uh, some of the Genos Funko Pops like popping up again because it is very very difficult to get hold of you guys may actually notice there is a grease stain uh, right there like on the cheek mark you may have not noticed it but now that I've pointed out you probably will really annoyed me because I, I didn't really spot it in the pictures initially when I got it off eBay but to be fair I went back and they were on there I just didn't see it I really wanted to get this Funko Pop like I said big fan of One Punch Man and uh, yeah I just feel with the, like the colours you don't really notice the grease stain too much but I do know it's there and speaking of Zach Aguila guys I guess this is the perfect segue into the Demon Slayer Fungo Pops I've got signed. By the way, if there was a slight jolt there on the camera, I do apologize. I actually had to change the batteries. I'm not sure I lined up the shot perfectly. Amateur mistake there. But yes, the first one I got signed then was the Galactic Toys exclusive Tanjiro Kamado with the Hinekami Kagura dance. And I just got him to write Hinekami Kagura. I guess it's not the most inventive, but really cool that he did it in the different colors of orange and green. And that wasn't the only Tanjiro Fungo Pop I got signed. I also got this box lunch exclusive glow in the dark one of Tanjiro with the water breathing dragon. I went with the water breathing 10th form constant flux, which again is not the most like inventive, creative, because it does actually say that on the flap inside. If you guys didn't know, Demon Slayer Funga Pops actually do have the quote on the inside of the flap, but I figured it's what he's doing in the pop itself, so I got it signed again with the different colors of blue and green. And yes, as you guys can see, I actually got a third Tanjiro Funga Pop signed at Anime Con UK by Zach Aguila, this time the two pack of Tanjiro and Nezuko with the quote no matter what it takes your big brother will save you uh, the quote in green and the autograph and the character name in red which I think looks really really cool need Abby I think it's Abby Trot I'm pretty sure that's what the English VA's name is uh, of Nezuko need her to come over to the UK so I can complete this two pack and there were actually a few Demon Slayer English VA's at Anime Con UK earlier this year including Brianna Knickerbocker who voiced Canal Sayuri she actually did sign my pop here with flower breathing final form in purple she did the auto in green and as you guys can see there are some flowers as well in pink both there and on the side as I said before I love it when VAs and actors do this and the other Demon Slayer English VA that attended Anime Con UK early this year was Landon McDonald the voice of Enmu from the Mugen Train movie Mugen Train arc I got him to of course add the very famous quote to die in the rapture of a dream a blessing indeed in white with the pink name and signature you guys may not notice it too much it's a little bit streaky in the first line I actually didn't really prepare uh, my pen very well, which you should do before you give it to guests, otherwise you may get things like this. Next up guys, we have some sign Funko Pops from my joint favorite anime of all time, 
Naruto, if you were wondering. That other anime is One Piece. Yes, you can love both. I'm evidence of that. You don't have to hate one and love the other. Just love both, man. They're both awesome. Anyways, I did get three Naruto Funko Pops signed by the English VA Miley Flanagan. Again, at Anime Con UK in Birmingham earlier this year. The first one here with Rasengan. The second one is the very cool, very funny, sexy jutsu. She did it in pink. I really do wish I had the Box Lunch exclusive one, though. I kind of hate that special edition sticker, but it is what it is. It's still really cool that I got this signed. And the third and final one I got signed is actually the Naruto Hokage figure from the Boruto line of Fungo Pops. You guys can see again, we do have the special edition sticker, but it's that more, it's not new, is it, anymore? It's like recent. Let's maybe call it the more recent one. I do think it's a lot better, but I certainly would have preferred the triple A anime exclusive one. But anyway, still really cool. I got the quote, I will become Hokage someday. I just thought very, very fitting for this bop. And the fourth and final Naruto Funko Pop I've got signed, guys, is one of the most favourite ones in my collection. It is the Pain Almighty Push Funko Pop signed by Troy Baker. Yes, the video game voice acting legend actually did anime before he moved on to video games. A lot, a lot of like VAs have done that. Um, he did the original voice for Pain as well as Nagato and of course Yamato. And if you guys were wondering, that was then taken over by legendary VA Matt Mercer, who has now become mega famous with critical role. Sadly, I didn't actually get his autograph. It sold out before I could check out because uh, he is attending MCM Comic Con London in two weeks time. I got most of them. I just missed out on him and Ashley Johnson. I did get the rest like Laura Bailey, Travis Willingham, Liam O'Brien, etc, etc. But I will actually be getting critical role Funko Pop signed as opposed to anime ones. Anyway, why is this one of my favorite ones in my collection, guys? It's just the color scheme. It's the quote. I love the character. So as you can see here on the side in purple, we have this world shell no pain in red kind of to go with the colors the purple of the Rinnegan eyes the red to go with the Akutsuki colors on the robes and then we have almighty push and Troy Baker's autograph in the orange there to go with the hair I just think it's so so cool the only one slight disappointment again is that OG special edition sticker which I absolutely hate I love the chalice collectible sticker which this actually was a chalice collectibles exclusive in the US I really wish I had that on there but it is what it is still love this and although the Pokemon line of Funko Pops are under the Pop Games banner, guys. I do still consider it an anime. Used to love it as a kid. I say as a kid, I was probably closer to a teenager, to be honest, when Pokemon was really, really big over here in the UK. But I actually got a bunch of Pokemon Pops, these 25th anniversary silver ones in particular, signed by Veronica Taylor, who was the OG voice actor of Ash. She will always be my Ash, to be honest. I know she was taken over by that Sarah Nak uh, to, I never know how you pronounce her name, to be honest. Um, I didn't watch too many of hers. Like, I kind of fell out of love with Pokemon and then Pokemon Go kind of brought that back with some of the TCGs and video games in later life, etc, etc. Uh, but yeah, I couldn't pass up the opportunity to get a bunch of Pokemon Pop Simon because we don't have an Ash Pokemon, uh, an Ash Pop, pardon me, yet. Hopefully we will do soon. But yes, I got Pikachu here signed with Pikachu Thunderbolt. I also got Bulbasaur with Bulbasaur Vine Whip. As you guys can see, the theme here is Ash calling out the moves and it's all in the color schemes. Pikachu was yellow, Bulbasaur green. Then Squirtle with Squirtle Water Gun. And finally, Charmander with Charmander Flame for I've never been a big fan to be perfectly honest of any of these like chrome or silver the anniversary type fungal pops but I actually thought these went really well with the color scheme uh, of each Pokemon to have this like signature and autograph if that makes sense and I do actually have one more fungal pop signed by the English VA of Mewtwo J Good aka Philip Bartlett I don't really know the story behind that too much what is I think J Good's his actual name but I think he may have gone under Philip Bartlett in certain movies perhaps in uh in the Pokemon Pokemon first movie where he did the voice for Mewtwo. Maybe it was the other way around. I can't entirely remember. As you guys can see, he did also draw this cool little doodle. I've said it already a few times. Love it when they do this. And although these last two aren't anime, they are anime inspired. I am, of course, talking about the legendary animation Avatar The Last Airbender. I absolutely love this show. Can't wait till the new Funko Pops come out as well. I really hope we get more Avatar stuff in the near future. But I did get my Chase Zuko Funko Pop signed by the voice actor Dante Basco. I went with the quote I don't want any calming tea. Now, I don't think this is actually correct. I believe the correct quote is I don't need any calming tea. This was actually the second Funko Pop I ever got signed after that Kutsuki Bakugo one I mentioned earlier. And uh, I was speaking to a girl in the queue and she asked me, what quote are you going to go for? And I was like, oh, I haven't really thought about quotes or anything like that. And she said, I'm going to get the I don't need any calming tea. And I was like, oh, can I, would you mind if I like steal that? Because I really actually like that quote. And she was like, yeah, go ahead. And then I actually made the mistake saying I don't want any calming tea 
see. So yeah, I guess it's a bit of a mistake on there, but you know, it's still really cool. Still love it. And at that same event, which was an MCM Comic Con London, if you guys were wondering, Janet Varney, who voiced Cora from The Legend of Cora, was also there. And this was my third Fungo Pop I ever got signed. I went with a quote, I'm the Avatar, you gotta deal with it. She was very, very cool, but she was very, very talkative. That's why her line just went on for ages and ages that day. Moving on to all the live action signed Fungo Pops then, guys. And oddly enough, this is the only signed Fungo Pop I have from a movie. Well, maybe that's not entirely true. I think there are a couple of Star Wars ones, but I figured we'd group all Star Wars together and do those at the end. This is, of course, Shazam. It is actually the Chase Glow in the Dark edition from Shazam Fury of the Gods. I got it signed by the actor himself, Zachary Levi, who was very, very cool. Super cool dude I met earlier this year at Manchester Comic Con. He was only there for the Saturday, but his queue wasn't too busy, and I thought he was fairly reasonably priced, to be honest. I actually never saw Fury of the Gods, like, still haven't seen it. I know it was absolutely panned, uh, but I love the first movie and actually really love his portrayal of the character, so I hope he does get to continue in that new DC Extended Universe. On to some TV next, guys, and first up, we're going to do The Walking Dead. This was the first Walking Dead Funga Pop I ever got signed. It is the 7-Eleven exclusive Bloody Carl, signed by the actor Chandler Riggs. He actually added that little quote there, I win. I hadn't prepared for this. This was, at, again, Comic-Con Northern Ireland last year. And then earlier this year at Comic-Con Manchester, I got another two Walking Dead Funga Pops signed first. This 2017 Fall Convention exclusive Dwight, signed by the actor Austin Amello. I think that's how you pronounce his name anyway. He just signed it there with D. And the other one I got signed was Ezekiel, who was played brilliantly by Kari Payton. He did actually add a quote on the side for me. He actually did this himself. Welcome to the kingdom. One of the coolest guests I've ever met. As we got up there, he really needed to go to the bathroom. So he excused himself, came back, put on some music. Then he came out from behind the table, gave me and my brother a big like high fives, hugs. Was very energetic, like energetic part of me. Very, very cool. Loved meeting him. And I'm also, as I said earlier, a pretty big fan of Critical Role. And someone had uh, stitched him a uh, duchess. Um, I don't know what you call it, like a little beanie type thing. Beanie? No, beanie is not the right word. Like a little um, plushy, maybe plushy. No, I, I don't know what you would call it, guys. I'm not really into sewing and all that stuff, but you're giving it to him. And I like knew what that was, so we could talk about that as well. He is also at MCM London in two weeks' time. I wonder if he is going to have something to do with the Critical Role cast. Of course, he was a character in the Mighty Nine Second Campaign. And I did almost have another two Walking Dead Fungo Pop signed at Comic-Con Manchester because Lauren Cohen, who of course played Maggie, and Christian Ceratos, who played Rosita, were supposed to attend. They unfortunately cancelled at like two days notice. It was around the time of the actor strike first going live. So I think a lot of people weren't really sure what to do. So yeah, they cancelled at really short notice, as did a couple of the boys actors, including Chase Crawford, who played The Deep, and Anthony Starr, who played Homelander. So that was really annoying. I had intended to get all four of those signed and those guys all cancelled. Thankfully, Chase Crawford and Anthony Starr are coming back to Manchester. They are attending for the love of sci-fi at the beginning of December. So I will be going back and getting those signed. But thankfully Jesse T Usher did still come he of course played a train he's another awesome guest like he talks so much makes you feel welcome though but his line does move so slowly as a result uh, but yeah definitely one of the coolest guests I've ever met he signed my a train Funko Bob as you guys can see there with a train there is a quote on the side which he picked I said just put whatever you want on there. He made a joke saying, oh man, I'll put a full landscape and stuff. And he went with this from the fastest effing man alive. And yeah, signed a train, Jesse T. Usher, like I said, super cool guy. Happy to get that in the collection and we'll be happy to add more boy signed Funko Pops later on this year. Up next, we have some signed Vikings Funko Pop guys and I've almost got a complete signed Funko Pop collection. I just need two more to go, which yeah, if I can get those, that will be really, really cool. The first one I did get signed though was by Catherine Winnick, who of course played Lagatha. I've actually got this stuck in this hard stack. Uh, here on the side is the Monopoly events, like authentic sticker a lot of people still don't trust those like too much because it's only like if you went to a monopoly event and you can kind of see where it was signed it's not like jsa or swau and all of those sorts of things uh, bsa is it bsa i can't entirely remember all the ones off the top of my head but people kind of trust those a bit more because they are like analyzing the signature and things like that but yeah the reason it's kind of wedged in here is because i then do have the certificate um from monopoly there in the back and it's kind of made the Funko Pop get stuck in the hard stack um, or at least it makes it really really difficult to get it out I think I did even maybe cause a tiny bit of damage trying to get it out nothing too significant though but um, yeah still really really happy in fact actually the window you probably can't tell the window is actually unstuck as well in there so 
um yeah i kind of need to you, you may see it a little bit here actually like the signature goes a little bit behind uh the the kind of character head there um so yeah it does kind of need to come a bit more out so then like i can stick the window so it kind of looks a bit more flush if that makes sense and the second vikings fungal pop i got signed guys was by clive stannon who of course played rolo he was actually like a emergency guess like a backup guess when all of those ones cancelled at comic-con manchester earlier this year as i mentioned he then came in afterwards which i think made some people quite happy but a lot of people were still disappointed of course the walking dead and the boys very very popular shows probably bigger than vikings to be honest but vikings i absolutely loved he actually wrote rock and rollo on there which is pretty cool with his signature and on the side he did actually write this quote himself he asked if i wanted a quote and i was like you know what i hadn't prepared at all uh, even though i'm used to preparing definitely hadn't prepared for him like i said he was a last minute guest announcement hero don't die stupidly skull and lastly we have gustav skarsgård who wasn't like an emergency guest or anything for comic-con manchester he was announced pretty early he was like their third or fourth guest announcement super super cool dude he signed my floki fungo bop love his signature like it's very like just full on it just looks nice i have no idea what this says i didn't even ask him to be perfectly honest maybe it says skull it's obviously something in uh like what, what would it be though norwegian icelandic or the ancient Viking language, whatever it was. Uh, but yeah, like I said, very, very cool dude. This was actually his first ever UK Comic Con. And the last one that I need, well, I actually don't have the Seer Fungo Bop. I do actually still need to get that. I do have the Ragnar Lothbrok one, which I would love to get signed by Travis Fimmel. And I said to him, yeah, I just really need Travis now to come. Uh, I just don't know if he does cons. And he told me he does do cons. He just doesn't think he's ever been to a UK con. And that's when he mentioned this was his first UK con. So yeah, Travis Fimmel, obviously you're definitely not watching, but please, please come to a UK Comic Con very, very soon. One of my favorite TV shows of all times, guys, is Sons of Anarchy. I absolutely freaking can love this show. I really want them to make more Funga Pops. This year would have been perfect because it's the 15th anniversary of when the first season debuted. But yeah, I've heard no news, so I'm not sure we are going to get more. But like I said, I would love it. There's still tons of characters they can make. They can do pop rides, tons of things they can do. But anyway, I did actually get my Jax Telefunga Pop signed by Charlie Hunnam at Comic-Con Liverpool last year. You guys will probably notice, unfortunately there is a bit of damage on my pop. It is what it is. I couldn't get like a like fresh clean one um, around the time. I did actually want to get the Reaper crew uh, that I think it was like a San Diego Comic-Con exclusive one at some point, um, like years ago. I wanted to actually get that one to get it signed because it is quite expensive, but yeah, I just couldn't find it anywhere at the time. Of course, afterwards I have seen it up for sale like two or three times since, but it's always the way. But uh, yeah, he was a super cool dude, very chatty, um, you know, said he's got this inventive way of trying to bring the boys back together for some kind of Sons of Anarchy project and to, you know, keep my eyes peeled, ears open, whatever. So yeah, can't wait for that. He did sign it with the, with the Jack's name at the bottom and he did also add this little Anarchy logo on the side as well. As I said, I always love that. I think it's really, really cool. And now I can't quite say the same for Ryan Hurst who played Obi Winston. My interaction with him was pretty limited. I kind of asked him, maybe my questions were poor. Maybe I caught him at a bad time, but I pretty much said, oh, do you miss the Sons of Anarchy? And he was like, nope. Do you miss the Walking Dead? Nope. What are you in next? And he like pointed to this thing on the table. I can't even remember what it was. And that was pretty much my interaction with him. He signed my pop, which the signature is still pretty cool. But I have, have like heard from a few people that he can be a bit moody. It depends on what time of the day you've caught him. You know, like I said, maybe my questions to him were crap. Maybe he'd been asked them like thousands of times before. Either way, really happy to get an Opie Winston Funga Pop signed because he was one of my favorite characters. I have a couple of Stranger Things signed Funga Pops in my collection as well, guys. First up, we have Ele Lexi, who was played by Alec Utkoff. He signed my Funga Pop at Comic-Con Northern Ireland last year with the No Cherry No Deal. He said he has to write that all the time. And the only other signed Stranger Things Funga Pop I have in my collection, guys, is Dustin signed by the one and only Gator Matarazzo. He was at Comic-Con Liverpool last year. The interaction with him was very, very quick. They were moving his line along very, very swiftly. He was, of course, very, very busy. It does happen with these bigger, busier guests. You unfortunately don't get as much time with them. I did still get to ask him a question and that was simply, did you actually sign a royalty deal for those thinking caps because everybody had them i mean i had one uh, i was wearing it at the 
on at the time and he said you know what I don't think we did um shame because they would have obviously made crap loads of money but uh as we then moved on he said like thanks for coming guys blah 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 we were stopped by an older gentleman who said you know what I really wish we did sign a deal uh for those thinking caps they're everywhere as well as the hellfire t-shirts which I was of course wearing or am wearing in this video I should say and was wearing at the time uh at that con and uh, I had a nice chat with this gentleman and uh we were talking about all things Stranger Things, I guess. And um, then we kind of left and later found out it was actually Gator Matarazzo's father. So that was pretty cool. I will actually be adding four new Stranger Things Funko Pops to my signed collection by next weekend because Nancy, uh, Jonathan, Argyle and Susie, the actors are all attending Comic-Con Liverpool. I've got them all ready to get signed. Cannot wait. Especially like Susie's going to look really cool next to Dustin. We're into our final stretch then guys with the Star Wars signed Funko Pops. We'll get the video games and animation out of the way first. So here we have Cal Kestis and BD1 signed by Cameron Monaghan. I actually met him at Comic-Con Northern Ireland last year. He's actually been to a few events already this year in the UK. I know he's at for the love of sci-fi and I think a couple more next year as well. Very, very cool dude. Um, at the time, Jedi Survivor actually hadn't released and I was speaking to him saying how much that I loved uh, Jedi Fallen Order, but my only, the only thing that I disliked about it was its length. I felt it was too short and he said, you are then going to love the second one because it's significantly longer. I still haven't played the second one actually. I know the, uh, my brother, the professor has played it a bit on PC. I, I'm like, got so much much backlog with my gaming that I often just play stuff on Game Pass now so I'm just going to wait till it comes on Game Pass hopefully by the start of next year maybe with EA Play who knows but yeah his signature nice and vibrant there in the white he did also write on the side may the force be with you he actually did that by his own accord I did not ask for that so again very very cool then from the animation side guys we have this Darth Maul from the Clone Wars signed by the longtime Maul voice Sam Witwer as you can see it does have that special edition sticker I already mentioned I do kind of hate that but it is what it is this was also a Chalice Collectibles exclusive so it would have looked a lot better with that but yeah I keep saying it is what it is love this Funko Pop as well with the dark saber they have just released another shirtless Darth Maul this past weekend at New York Comic Con but I actually prefer this one then from the Bad Batch guys I did get my Omega Funko Pop signed by the voice actress Michelle Ang at Star Wars Celebration earlier this year in fact I think all of the next pops uh, apart from one actually I did get all of them signed at Star Wars Celebration where the guests were a bit more expensive than they normally are at other cons but yeah you're always going to pay Star Wars tax as well as London tax whenever like there is a con uh, especially at the XL anyway Michelle was really cool she was really nice really sweet she didn't actually have like paint pens and stuff which I thought was a bit weird you guys can probably see this is in like just a silver sharpie to be honest um, I was uh, queuing for D Bradley Baker who I'm actually going to show you a pop next uh, that I got for him to sign and the, the queues were so long I don't know what was going on I think they were delayed like their photo ops were delayed and then um yeah it just took ages for whatever reason one of the like longest guests i've ever waited for and then finally got his funko pop signed so because the show was like winding down and like it was like 4 or 5 p.m uh, on the final day and uh, i actually sent my brother into uh into michelle ang's queue to get this signed and then once i got my uh pop signed by d bradley baker i actually just jumped into the other queue and there was literally maybe one or two people just in front of me so got kind of lucky to still meet her but yeah she didn't have any pens uh, apart from these sharpies which i thought was a bit weird and annoyingly i did actually have my paint pens in my bag but i was just a bit kind of flustered and rushing that I forgot. Either way though, I still think it came out fairly well. And this was the D Bradley Baker pop that I decided to get signed, guys. I really couldn't decide which character to go with because he of course voiced them all. I really did want to get the Rex sign. I can't remember where it was from, like one of the Comic Cons, maybe New York, and was it 2018? I can't entirely remember. It was definitely a Comic Con exclusive Rex, but it was like so expensive. Someone did actually have a con exclusive stickered version, but they wanted like 400 odd pounds for it and as I said Star Wars Celebration like the guest prices were already pretty expensive I, I spent a fortune at Star Wars Celebration I'm surprised it didn't quite cripple me to be honest uh, always been careful with my finances though so yeah in the end I decided to go with the GameStop exclusive 5 pack Hunter Wrecker Tech Cross Hair and Echo and I decided to go with the quote when have we ever followed orders of course the famous last words of Tech that is actually a bit of a spoiler if you guys haven't caught up with a bad batch so apologies for that uh, 
uh, D. Bradley Baker signed with the Bad Batch. The color scheme may look a little bit weird, but it does actually match the backdrop inside the Funga Pop box. And I mentioned earlier, guys, I only had a couple of movie signed Funga Pops. This is the other one to Shazam. It is my signed General Grievous, signed by the, I don't know if he did motion capture, actually. I think he was just the voice. It is, of course, from the movies, though, not the Clone Wars. Uh, Matthew Wood was the voice actor. He actually wrote Crush Them in Green, signed it in blue, voice of General Grievous in green, and then, as you can see, added the year 2023 in blue, which I think is pretty cool. I, I was about to ask him to do that because it, you guys probably can't see it, but the Funga Pop, he does, of course, have both the green and blue lightsabers, but he kind of did it on his own accord. This did actually come with the special edition sticker, but mine peeled off really easy, and I figured in the end, you know what, let's just take it off. And the rest of my signed Star Wars Funga Pops, guys, are all from television series. First up, we have some Mandalorian Funga Pops. As you guys can see, this is Fennec Shan, signed by the great Ming-Na Wen. She's such a cool badass. Like, she's so sweet in real life, but she just seems to play these badass characters. She signed it in the orange pen, which I'm really glad because I didn't have one and I just feel orange goes so well with her character. And speaking of badass guys, we have one of the most badass, coolest dudes, intimidating dudes, I should say, I've ever met. This is Moff Gideon, signed by the one and only Giancarlo Esposito. This wasn't actually at Star Wars Celebration. He was there, but I met him at Comic-Con Liverpool last year. Really annoyingly, he was like more than double the price at Star Wars Celebration this year. He cost £100 and he was just like 40 uh, I could be telling a lie. No, you know what? I don't think I am. I think he's like 42, maybe 45 uh, um, at the Monopoly events. That's certainly what I paid for. He was at Comic-Con Scotland just, what, a week or so ago. He is going to be somewhere else. Ah, oh, Telford Takeover uh, next month, but I actually haven't looked at how much they're charging for him. But yeah, so expensive at Star Wars Celebration. But uh, yeah, Comic-Con Liverpool, he was actually dressed up in his uh, Gus outfit. Gus Fring, of course, from Breaking Bad. Probably my favourite TV show, actually of all time if you guys were wondering um, but I don't actually unfortunately have the I do have a Gus Fring Funger Pop but it's out of box so the uh, box version now quite expensive to get hold of but yeah he was in Gus Fring outfit and they had him signing stuff and you could do like selfies and photo ops uh, at the uh, Los Polios Hermanos kind of chicken shop which I thought was really really cool but yeah even going up to him I was like, like a bit intimidating uh, but he like was a really cool dude um, you know, really well spoken, really super nice. And I think like his signature has come out one of the best. Look how vibrant it is there in the white. And by the way, this is actually with a deco paint pen, which is water based. See a lot of people saying don't use water based paint pens and you're not necessarily wrong. Oil based should definitely be used. They kind of last longer, they dry quicker, um, but you can use water based paint pens, guys. I see the question asked a lot. What paint pen shall I use? Can you give me some advice, etc. Etc. Some people quite like quite a few people have asked me that. So I am actually thinking about doing a video on that uh, now that I've got quite a few Funga Pop signs in my collection and become somewhat of a bit of an expert. So if you guys would like to see a video on that, do drop a comment below and let me know. And this is one I really do love, particularly now as the show has just finished and I really did enjoy it. I am, of course, talking about Ahsoka, although this pop itself is from The Mandalorian and signed by the one and only Rosario Dawson. She even gave me some hugs and kisses kisses which is very cool speaking of cool that's what she was a lovely person to speak to we even had like a good I want to say 40 to 60 seconds with her they weren't really rushing her along even though I, I feel like she's a fairly biggish star to be perfectly honest um you know we asked her how London was treating her uh because this was a, I got this signed at Star Wars Celebration by the way and she um she said she's getting the full like British treatment London treatment she went to Greg's she got a sausage roll she was just loving it here and uh yeah just so chatty just so nice and um, yeah, love her, love her portrayal of Ahsoka, pardon me. Uh, I, w I would still say that out of all of the television series, I still think the first two seasons of The Mandalorian were my favourite. I really enjoyed Ahsoka. I know a lot of people love Andor. I did like Andor, but I don't seem to love it as much as other people did. Like, I, I feel a lot of the characters, apart from Andor, who I think was brilliant, the rest of them aren't that memorable. I certainly think some of the later episodes were better than the earlier ones. But um, yeah, I still, for the most part, I think I've enjoyed all of the Star Wars shows today. And the final sign, Funko Pop, in my collection, guys, my most cherished, certainly my most expensive one, at least in terms of what it cost me to get, the Obi-Wan Kenobi and Darth Vader 2-pack from the Obi-Wan Kenobi TV series, signed by Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen. Look at that, guys. So cool. I love how the colours 
Clash? Clash isn't the right... Clash sounds negative. What's the word I'm looking for? It's not going to come to me, but I, I just think they, they like go together so well. The blue, of course, of the Jedi there for Ewan McGregor. The red uh, of the Sith for Hayden Christensen. It just looks really, really cool. Does have the special edition sticker there, but it's right in the corner. So it's actually not being intrusive. I know this was a Target Con, uh, not Target Con, pardon me, a Target exclusive where the sticker would have been right there in the middle and it would have actually been a bit intrusive. So I don't mind this too much. Um, yeah, just so, so cool. As I said, it cost me... A small fortune though I feel I paid like probably close to 500 pounds to get this signed to be honest again Star Wars tax or Star Wars celebration tax London tax because I know both guests have been at Monopoly events in the past and they were certainly much cheaper but I love that I've got it in the collection I just think it looks so so cool and there we go guys that is my full signed Funko Pop collection today a current count of 44 plus the two U2s as well plenty more to be added at the end of this month well in the next two weeks actually because Comic Con Liverpool is next weekend and MCM Comic Con London is the weekend after I haven't done a full tally but I think it's about 20 plus new Funko Pops into the collection, at least that I intend to get signed. I am then heading to MCM Birmingham on the 1st of December, and the following day I'm actually getting the train up to Manchester for the Love of Sci-Fi event by Monopoly, where I intend to get a bunch more signed Funko Pops. So yes, a pretty expensive last few months of the year for me, and that doesn't even include Christmas. Anyway guys, let me wrap this video up. So first and foremost, thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me here on the Geek Lounge. It is very much appreciated. I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If so, be sure to give it a thumbs up drop some comments below let me know what sign Funko Pops you guys have in your collection and as always we've got plenty more content on the way for you guys I mentioned it a few times already I'm heading to Comic Con Liverpool next weekend and MCM Comic Con London the following weekend so plenty of con videos related to both of those our usual UK Comic Con news updates does drop tomorrow as well make sure you stay tuned for that if you want to hear the latest UK Comic Con news then the usual Fungo Lego statues figures TCGs all that fine jazz we love to play here on the Geek Lounge coming your way make sure you stay tuned for all of it and more what is the easiest way to stay tuned you ask it's very simple subscribe hit click smash that subscribe button and enable those notifications so you don't miss out on any of that future content guys thanks again for watching today's video and we'll see you on the next one peace out nerds